Well, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, um, somewhat different to what I had intended. But let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. My name, as you know, is Mike Hurd, and I'm today's worship leader and, as it turns out, today's preacher. Linda, pastor of Christ Presbyterian Church, is away, and we were to welcome the Reverend Dr. Teresa Chavez Sauceda as our guest preacher. Unfortunately, she's been called away on a family emergency, so I must fill the gap. In the circumstances, we will not be celebrating communion today. We extend a very special welcome to any visitors that we may have. Everyone is required to wear masks, as you know, by county mandate inside the building, regardless of vaccination status. Masks, I hope, we have a small supply left at the back of the, of the room. Some people are participating today on Zoom, and we welcome them as usual. Please wave to them on the camera. Please note that the service is being recorded and will be uploaded later this week to YouTube. Please turn and greet your fellow neighbors with a hello or a wave. Would you now please stand as you're able and join me in the call to worship, which is found in your bulletin. Please read the bold. Wise God, you are older than the ages, and you dance in the starlight, and you love us. Wise God, you share your bread with stranger, and you welcome little children, and you understand us. Wise God, you wrestle with the powerful, and you comfort all who need you, and you disturb us. Wise God, shining in darkness, seen by all who love you, found by those who seek you, we are here to learn from you. Please join me now in singing hymn number 152, What Star Is This? Signs the 
Join me now in the prayer of confession. The light comes to the world, our eyes long used to darkness, fatigued from long searching, blink and twitch. We jerk away and do not answer. The light comes to our eyes, shuddering with the warmth, preferring loneliness to the pain of answer. and do not answer. The light comes to touch our bodies and our spirit minds, but we are lost in logic, living in our heads. Our bodies give us away to the truth of isolation. Calling, calling our names, the light comes, preferring to hear it as the ice rattling branches of winter trees, we turn away, crouched against the wind, and do not answer. We have seen the light, we have heard the call. We will dance in the light with our God. Today's scripture reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of, Her of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God.
It says in the bulletin, I think. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.
our lives are filled with your blessings, O God. The air we breathe, the food we eat, the homes in which we live, the health that permits us to be here, the people we love who also love us. Grant that we may never live insensitively, but may praise and worship you endlessly for your goodness. Now let your blessing be upon the small gifts we have made, that they may be used wisely and graciously for your kingdom's sake. Amen. Would you please now join me in singing hymn number 150, As with Gladness, Men of Old. specific other than volunteer table is always open for you to sign up for the various duties which are performed strangely enough by people every week it's magic sometimes but it still gets done so please sign up for worship leader for uh, acolyte for usher or for helping with communion when we have it um, and that's the only ministry opportunity that I have to offer. Normally at this point, Linda or whomever is in charge, other than me, um, will offer a charge and a blessing. The only charge and blessing I can offer because I didn't have time to prepare anything else is to simply say, go with God. 